What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a mid fade haircut tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how to do this and with that being said, let's go. Alright, since this is a mid fade, we're going to set in our bald guideline right there at the corner of the eyebrow and we're using a non-zero gap trimmer just because it makes it easier to set in the line and it doesn't leave a hard line. And now you just want to flip over the trimmer and just bald out the bottom. You want to make sure you step back and make sure the guy lines even all around. So now with our zero gap trimmer, we're just going to bald it out right beneath it. And this will make it easier when we come through and shave it. But you want to make sure you're flicking out towards the top. With our babyless shavers, we're just going to shave out that bottom part, just making it nice and bald. Usually the shavers do leave a line, but since we did the previous steps, it's just going to make it really easy to just flip over the shaver and just flick it out. Our first guideline is going to be done with the no guard open, and we just want to go up an inch. You want to make sure you keep this guideline consistent throughout the whole head. So to get rid of this guideline we're going to be using the close to open method and we're starting with the lever completely closed and we're just going to hit the bottom line but as soon as you start seeing it go up you want to open the lever little by little until you're all the way open. I am using the gammas which makes this step a little bit easier since it does have the notch system but you can do this with any clipper. Our next guideline is going to be done with the one guard open and we just want to go up another inch. So now we're going to start getting rid of this line. We're going to start with the one guard closed and just flicking out as soon as we get to the line. So this won't get rid of the guideline completely because we still have to come through with the 0.5 guard but this will soften it out. And now we want to open the lever halfway and just flick out on top of the number one guard close. Our next guideline is going to be done with the 1.5 guard and we want to go up another inch but make sure you're not digging in. You want to flick out once you get to the top of the guideline. We want to use clipper over comb now just to blend in the 1.5 guard into the long hair he has on top. Sometimes there's a slight line in between the clipper over comb and the 1.5 and to get rid of that we're going to be using the 2 guard and just flick it out. So now we're going to get rid of the guideline we created with the 1.5 guard and we're going to be using the same steps we did with the 1 guard. We're going to close the lever and just flick out as we get towards the line and we're going to open the lever halfway and just flick out above that.
All right, so for these last few steps, you wanna make sure you're using the corner of the blade. You wanna make sure you're flicking out and not digging in like this. You wanna flick out. With the one guard open, we just wanna flick out anything we see between the one guard open and the 1.5 guard. Now to get rid of the last line, we're gonna be using the zero guard and we're closing the lever halfway and just flicking out that line. Now we open the lever and go on top of that. Just make sure you're flicking out so we won't create a line. With the lever completely closed, we're gonna flick out the rest of the line. But sometimes you have to open the lever and do some detail work, so this is the perfect time to do it. So now we're going to put up the hair just so we can come through and line it up. And I like using these velcro hair grippers instead of the normal clips. Just because I felt like the clips would pull the hair back too much and the line wouldn't come out straight. Now with the hairline, I like starting at the middle and usually coming towards the right side. And when I'm doing the hairline, I like taking it slow and just making sure everything is straight and not trying to push them back. My client wanted to keep the length on top, but he did want some texture, so we're just going to be using the point cutting method to add some. Now that we're basically done, we're just going to come through with the shear over comb and do some final detail work. So this is how my client came in. He wanted a mid fade and he wanted some texture on top and this is how it came out. And that's the haircut. If you guys enjoyed the video or found this video helpful, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, comment down below what kind of videos you guys wanna see next and that'll be it. Peace out, YouTube. Peace out.